does it go without gas and air? How does it go without sparks and explosions? How does it go without gears or transmissions? How does it go, you will ask yourself. And then, you will ask, how did we go so long without it? The electric car. It isn't coming. My name is Mike Farlow, and what follows is a few short videos showing how simple the technology is that goes into an electric car. Through the grill you can see there's a series of batteries in the front of the Jeep, but underneath the hood on top of that is the control board. And in it you have the controller, this box here, which sends the message or the power down to the motor as to how much and how fast it should go. Um, you have a uh, most positive wire coming in from the battery pack. It comes in through an Anderson connector and that heads up and goes to a um, contactor that will snap shut and send the power through to the controller. On the other side of the board You have another, uh, the most negative power coming in from the battery pack, and it goes to another uh, contactor that will snap shut and send the negative power to the controller. Now what happens is you turn the key, this contactor on this side snaps shut when that happens, and then the contactor on the other side, there's a pot box which will control, is attached to the throttle, as you press down on the throttle, that snaps this other contactor closed and sends power to the controller. So now the controller has both uh, positive and negative power. As you press further on the throttle, this pot box sends a message to the controller that you send more power to the motor and that's what drives the uh, machine. Also on the control board, there is a vacuum pump that is used to replace having an actual pump that's driven by a fan belt. So this is just an uh, electrical pump and it provides the vacuum to the power brakes. You also, instead of an alternator, you have what's called a DC to DC uh, converter and it will take the 120 volts coming from the battery pack and break it down to 12 volts and that will charge up the battery. And then your battery will run your lights and your heater and your wipers, all your regular 12 volt system. Now these Anderson connectors are designed to pull apart and disconnect and so that means um, you can totally disconnect the power from the board. There's another one for the most uh, negative side of the battery and then also for the DC to DC converter there's a smaller one that snaps off. Now the board is totally uh, without power. This board then lifts up to reveal the uh, five batteries that are contained under the hood and then the electric motor so that you can access both. You can reach the connectors that go down to the motor and you can also top up the batteries and maintain them. <laughs>